I know that I hung on a windswept tree for nine whole nights, wounded with a spear and given to Odin, myself to myself. On a tree about which no one knows from the roots of what it springs, They revived me neither with bread nor drink. I peered downwards, took up the runes. Screaming, I took them. Thereupon, I fell back. Nine mighty spells I learned from the famous son of Beltor, Vestla's father. And sprinkled with Odrarir, I got a drink of the precious mead. Then I began to be quickened and full of wisdom, to grow and to thrive. Words coming in succession, one after another, led me to further words. Deeds coming in succession, one after another, led me to further deeds. Runes you may find, and legible staves, staves of great power and might, which have been fashioned by the great sage, made by the mighty gods, and cut by Odin the Hrokta of the gods among the Aesir, by Dain for the Elves, by Dvalin for the Dwarves, by Asvida for the Giants. I have cut some myself. Do you know how to cut and how to interpret Do you know how to paint and how to divine? Do you know how to invoke and how to make offering? Do you know how to sacrifice and make slaughter? Better unpetitioned an extravagant offering. A gift always looks for repayment. Better unconsigned than excessive immolation. So thunder cow before the origin of mankind began. He arose where he returned. Such spells I know as are not known to women of royal rank. And to the sons of men, one is called help. And it will help you against accusations and sorrows and woes of every kind. A second I know which the sons of men need who wish to be leeches. A third I know, if I am in great need of placing a shackle on my foes, blunt the blades of my enemies, neither their weapons nor their staves will wound. A fourth I know, if men place jibes upon my arms and legs, I will chant such spells as will set me free.
The fetter from my feet shall fly, the shackle from my hands. A fifth I know. If I see a dart maliciously shot, flying through the host, though its course be unerring, I will stay it if my eyes catch sight of it. A sixth I know. If a man wound me by the roots of a sapling, and rather than myself, the hurt will prey on the man who wishes the evil. A seventh, I know. If I see a lofty hall blazing above the banqueters, the flames will not spread, so I cannot help. Such a spell I may have a chance. An eighth, I know which is profitable for all to take to heart. Should hostility spring up between the sons of a warrior prince, I can speedily reconcile them. A ninth I know, if need arises to save my boat on the sea, I can lull the wind over the waves and calm the whole ocean. A tenth I know. If I see phantom riders a lot, I can contrive to make them go bereft of their proper shapes and their proper senses. An eleventh, I know. If I have to lead old friends into battle, I chant spells under their shields, and they march in their might, safe into the fight, safe out of the fight, from all their conflicts safe, they return. Twelfth, I know. If I see on a tree aloft a corpse swinging from a halter, I cut and paint runes in such wise that the man walks and talks with me. A thirteenth I know. If I have to sprinkle a young boy with water, he will never fall if he goes into battle, nor will such a man succumb to the sword. A fourteenth, I know. If I have to number the gods before a host of men, I have information about all the gods and elves. No one but a wise man has such knowledge. A fifteenth I know, which Theodoreria the dwarf chanted before the doors of Dellinger. He chanted, strength to the gods, success to the elves, understanding to Hroptatir. A sixteenth I know, if I wish to have an independent damsel's whole mind and love, I can sway the heart of the white-armed girl and altogether change her affections. A seventeenth I know, 
so that a young maiden will be slow to part from me. You will be long in need of these spells, Lord Fafnir, yet you will prosper if you accept, benefit if you lay them to heart, profit if you receive them. An eighteenth I know, which I will never make known to maiden or married woman, save only to her who holds me in her arms, or perchance to my sister. It is always better for only one to know, and that is the conclusion of my song. Now have the words of the High One been uttered in the Hall of the High One. Most profitable to the sons of men, but useless to the sons of giants. Hail to whoever has spoken them. Hail to whoever knows them. May he gain who grasps them. Hail unto those who heed them.